And now, one of our Sunday best. From Connor Knighton, a story of dogged determination. On this 100 degree day in El Paso, a Texas terrier named Tumble is enjoying a bit of fresh air while trying to beat the heat. <laughs> However, most of Tumble's time is spent here, inside a cage at El Paso Animal Services. She was brought to the shelter after she was found out on the street, her head trapped in a fence. Usually on any given year, we have 25,000 to 30,000 animals come through the door. Pretty girl. Kylie Young's job is to help get those animals out the door. Come on. But there are far more dogs in El Paso than there are willing adopters. It's a common story at shelters in several cities, but it's not the story in every city. My jaw just dropped. I, I didn't know. I mean, I'm living in a cocoon in Jackson where, you know, life is good and everybody has a dog and all the dogs are well taken care of and the shelter is empty. Peter Rourke is a retired orthopedic surgeon based in Jackson, Wyoming. He's loved dogs ever since he was a boy. I like dogs better than most people I know. I mean, I just, <laughs> they're just pure of heart and pure of soul. Rourke also happens to be a part-time pilot. When he retired from medicine, he realized that he might be able to help connect some of the towns that have full shelters to towns full of willing adopters. So he took the seats out of his plane and took to the skies, co-founding the nonprofit Dog Is My Co-Pilot. The mission is stated to fly or transport the dogs from the areas that have a high euthanasia rate to areas that will never put down a healthy animal. A typical day might involve loading up a plane full of animals in Merced, California, and then dropping them off to receiving partners in Portland, Seattle, and Missoula, Montana. What's the maximum number of animals you'd have on a flight? 251. Wow. I, yeah. What that did was, that smell like? You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's an amazing olfactory experience. <laughs> Rourke began his rescue flights in 2012, just a few months after the sudden death of his wife, Meg. He was distraught, desperately searching for a new direction. My wife passed away. I was in the darkest place that you can imagine. A mutual friend of ours called me and said, you know, Peter, you need to knock this off. Meg would want you to be happy, so get out there. And out there he went. To date, Dog is My Co-Pilot has flown more than 19,000 animals. Mostly dogs, with a few cats thrown in. That's way more of an impact than I ever made as an orthopedic surgeon, you know? And it's so, so it's so much more rewarding. 72 animals are waiting for Rourke at the El Paso airport at 4 a.m. on a Sunday, including a tired tumble. Once everyone is safely loaded onto the plane, Rourke is off. So. After stops in Salt Lake City and Sutton Valley, the animals descend into Troutdale, Oregon, just outside Portland. There, an army of volunteers is waiting to help unload the dogs and get them to their new homes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cry. Yeah, good boy. Julie Zagrins with Portland's One Tail at a Time Rescue noticed a huge increase in adoption interest once COVID hit. People were just overwhelmed by how many applications that we had to process, and it's a great problem to have. So, you know, we want to find everyone a dog. Zagrin's found Tumble a home with Portlanders Andrea Fielder and Matt Schmidt. It turns out their backyard kiddie pool is Tumble's favorite hangout spot. Some Texas habits die hard. You're home, Tumble. You're home. This doesn't look like Texas, does it? Back at the airport, an empty plane means a successful trip for Peter Rourke. Okay. He'll be back here in two weeks to do it all over again, hitting a half dozen other towns in the meantime. Did this help you find a purpose? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, people say, well, you're out saving dogs. And I'm thinking, I really think they saved me. <laughs> they got me back out in the world again.